I never considered uh, giving up what I do because what I do is a part of me. And I think I speak for many women um, who are mothers or thinking about being mothers. I started Wonderlust and Co. Well, I came up with the idea in 2009 and launched the brand in 2010. For a long time, women were made to feel guilty when they said, I am all these other things because you felt like, okay, if I had a child, then this should be my number one priority, which for me it is, but I, I don't feel guilty by saying that there's these other things that fulfill me and that's okay, I don't need to feel bad. I don't owe anyone an explanation as long as my husband, my child, myself, who's in a good balance. So I think the first thing is, um, get savvy about the things you need to know. As the pregnant mama, you're in control, you know what's coming next. Second would be um, list down the key things that you need to get done. Decide when you're going to do them and break them down across the months. Just make a grand list of things. Also share this list with your partner. Um, don't do it alone. Like sit down and, and, and talk through it and say, what do you think about this plan? How do we support each other in this plan? And my third tip would be to have a chat with your support system and the people around you about how you feel. Be transparent. Um, sometimes if I'm feeling particularly run down or a little exhausted, like for example, my marketing manager has been with me for a while, I would open up to her and say to her, I'm feeling a little exhausted this week. I'm sorry if I'm not bringing my A game. And she'll be like, no, no, you're fine. You know, you're pregnant, like da, 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 let us pitch in and do this. And it's okay to say you need help. Um, oh, the fourth is yoga. <laughs> I, I always practice yoga. I meditate even throughout pregnancy, the self-care and the self-love. Um, that everyone needs in different ways. Um, don't neglect that even when you're pregnant. I would say find what suits your family, find what suits you, even if it means you're taking three months off or six months off or a year off. Do what suits your family and then come up with a plan either with the help of your parents or um, something that fits your structure and the working hours you have to put in. Um, and definitely get back into it when you can. I think the best moms are the ones who feel fulfilled, you know, and don't resent having to stay at home and, and do just one thing that to them they're more than just one thing. Don't give up on your, your dreams, don't give up on your career goals. Um, find ways to fit it in and you'll be amazed at how we actually really, really can as women fit, fit all of it in. Um, yeah.